Good morning, everybody. We're going fishing. We're still under quarantine. We got my brother Ricky here. He's the captain. We got my sister-in-law Elizabeth. We got Sarah up there. We're on Ricky's 25 Contender Bay boat, leaving Bud Mary's right now. You can see it. Things are quiet here still. Just uh, spending some time with the family, and that's it. You know, waiting for this thing to pass with this virus. So, see if we can't go back there and catch some redfish. Maybe anything else that bites. We'll see you out there. Ooh, that'll get us close. We gotta put the rod tips down here. High tide. Super high right now. Ooh. We did not break any rod tips. That's a good start. We made it out here to the spot, you guys. My brother Ricky had a great day out here yesterday with my dad. They caught some really nice fish. We're gonna see if we catch some ourselves. I'm trying to pick a winner out of here. Look at this pinfish right here. So we're using live pinfish for bait. We got a modified circle hook, a weight on there. 15 pound braid on a little spin fisher. Throwing them out there. Send them down to the bottom so we get all big bites. Ricky, we can't let the girls out fish us. That'd be bad on TV. Oh my gosh, Sarah's hooked up already. <laughs> oh, look at that sea trout. trout. Big trout. Big this could trout. be dinner, guys. Big trout. Big trout. That's dinner, Sarah. Don't lose them. We got a sea trout. Yeah. Ooh, that's the biggest trout I've ever caught. Oh, I get a bite here, too, guys. Oh. oh. Whiffed I whiffed him, Ricky. Sea trout. All right, that's a speckled sea trout, you guys. Can we eat them? We can eat them, I think. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep a couple deep for dinner, you guys. Sarah is gone again. They're hungry for shrimp, people. They want shrimp. That could be a trout. Oh, it's another trout. I don't know if he's a keeper or not. It might be. Oh, that no, was a little smaller. We're gonna let that trout go. Sea trout. Sea trout, Sarah. On the pinfish. Big trout. <laughs> oh, look at the size of that catfish. Oh my God. Look at that catfish. Take that. I thought you had on a big snooker red. <laughs> I wish. Just one, We're warming up. One slimy catfish. The one huge Farmer. one. Okay, so I'm the only one who has not caught a fish yet. Sarah's caught three, Liz has caught one. Liz is on, what we got? Oh, and Sarah's on too. Oh, big sea trap for Sarah. That's a keeper there, Sarah. Get that trout. Liz has got another catfish. <laughs> That's a big sea trout right there. Oh, oh nuts. <laughs> oh, look. Another cat daddy. Look how it looks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Well, I thought I had a bite, but all I did was tangle up Liz. Slime on there, too. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. That is terrible. <laughs> that is this is why we don't like catfish. That is catfish slime right there. That is just disgusting. There's a big trout. Oh, big trout. Get him in the boat. Get him in the boat. One shot. There you go. Don't show the camera your trout. Oh, look at his fangs. Riding for the trout. That's a winner. Nice trout. <laughs> His teeth. Yeah, that would hurt. You need a new. Yeah. <laughs> you need a new bait. Aw, uh, Nick. Get him, Nick. Rocked up. Get, Get him, him out, Nick. Pull him out. Now uh, he's got the Goliath Come on. on. It's a nurse shark. Uh, well, it's it's a hand. sawfish. Oh, look at that eagle right by the boat. Yeah, that's a big one. Watch out, don't jump in. Of all the fish I catch, I catch a nurse shark. Got to start somewhere. Oh yeah, big nurse. Big nurse. Nancy the nurse shark right there. Only thing I've caught all day. Eagle rays are jumping like crazy. I'm surprised you got that one up so easy. Yeah, battle three. Ready well, for battle. It's like he's a professional. <laughs> all right, we got a few sea trout so far and a few catfish. A big nurse shark. 
He said we should have been here yesterday for the big redfish, but it's not over yet. We got time. All right, we left the first spot. We're cruising around now, looking the trap line, hoping to spot a triple tail. Looking at all these buoys out here. We're gonna catch something when we get rid of the banana. There's a nice triple tail up here. You get one cast. He's floating by a buoy. Sarah's on the bow. Let's see if she scores. Right behind the buoy, throw it in front of it and drag it past his face. You're behind him. Hopefully don't spook him. You gotta throw it in front of him. And drag it past the buoy so you don't snag the buoy. Hip up high so it skips and he sees it. He reeled it too fast. You got one more cast. One more cast. You can do it. Hip up high, slowly bring it in. Hip high, yeah. So he sees it, let it get close to the buoy. There, stop. Yeah. He's after it. Did you get it? Oh, got him out. Good job, all. Sarah. Got him all. We got a net, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> nice triple tail. Yes. Nice triple tail on. Big triple tail, Sarah. Here's a good one. Yeah, you're. Just break it. Sea trout. We got sea trout just in case, but if we get this triple tail, this is great eating if we get them. He's on to us. <laughs> yeah! All right. Good job. <laughs> Captain Ricky putting us Ooh. on the big triple tail. That's a nice, nice yeah, backcountry triple tail. That one there is picture worthy. Big All triple right. tail. I gotcha, you're good. Sweet. All right, so it's a nice triple tail. They gotta be 18 inches to keep. Really good eating. We're gonna add them to the sea trout. A lot of the fishing back here is catch and release, but a triple tail is great eating. And we do keep a few sea trout too. We got dinner. Sarah got him on a third cast. Good job, Sarah. All right, he gave you a sea Ricky and I wanted to cast herself. I had to practice. I haven't caught a triple tail off a buoy in years. Nice. <laughs> oh, look at that sea trout. Big jumping trout. Big trout, baby. Big trout. We, we got a big trout on the pinfish, you guys. Big trout. He came up jumping back there. Look at that trout. Gator trout. I actually caught something now. All I caught I'm was a nurse shark. I'm on the board with a sea trout. All right, so there's a big sea trout there, you guys. He inhaled the pinfish, ate that whole pinfish. But speckled sea trout, real pretty colors. Ricky, he's gut hooked. I think we should keep him because he's probably gonna die. Yeah. What do you think? Yep. Dinner. Might have All right. Been. We already had a couple for dinner. We we're gonna let him go, but he is hooked so deep in there. I don't want to just throw him in and feed him to the sharks and the catfish. So. You can see he just swallowed that and inhaled it. So we're gonna keep him, we're gonna throw him in the cooler and we will eat him. Now we're drifting away from it now. All right, All right Ricky's I'm... hooked up. What has he got on, guys? Something what? big. Ooh. Oh, Goliath grouper. Oh! Oh, doubled up. Ah, <laughs> oh, mine came off. This might have been something better. Look at that Goliath guy. Wow. All right. Well, look, he's got my other rig in his mouth. <laughs> Must have got me twice. I'm gonna get my hook back. Gotta save the hook. Oh, yeah. All right. Beautiful specimen. There he goes. All right, guys, we're at Cape Sable here, little beachy area. 
runs up and down. You can actually walk along here and catch fish sometimes, but we're gonna take a break, eat lunch before we call it a day. And for lunch today, we got turkey, salami, some cheese, lettuce and tomato, no mayo or mustard, but not a bad place to social distance down here in the Florida Keys and eat lunch. No more catfish. Out back. There he is. Oh, there he is. What is Ooh, that? big fish. This oh, big snook, big snook, big, monster big snook. snook. Monster snook on. Well, this thing's going. Been waiting for. Woo. Come on, buddy. Stay on there, fish. Stay on there. Woo. We've been fishing all day for this bite. We got dinner. Now we need the show. Oh, boy. Breaking the water out there, half jumping. This is a big snook, you guys. This could be the biggest snook I've ever hooked here in the Florida Keys. Biggest snook you've ever caught, maybe. If I get him. This could be, this could be him. Fishing my whole life for this fish. All right, just be careful with him around the boat there. You might make a move on it. Oh, oh my God. God. That's a big Woo! snook. Big snook, big snook. That's oh snook. my god! Woo! That's a whopper snook. That's a right <laughs> oh, yeah, baby! Oh. Big snook, baby! That's the biggest snook I've ever That could be the biggest snook of my life that's right the, there. That's bigger than the one we have mounted. <laughs> all right! Oh my god. We fished all day, you guys, for that bite. Woo! Whopper snook. Look at that. In Amarada, we're under quarantine. Beautiful snook. What a gorgeous fish. He's going on the wall, right? <laughs> <laughs> I already got one on the wall at home. I'll show you that when we get there later. But what? what a snook, light tackle, 15 pound braid, little 3,500 reel. Ate that pinfish. We got him. That's a nice snook. Fish of a lifetime. Alrighty. Check out the Bud and Mary's Marina channel as well. My brother's been running that page, that channel, and uh, lots of inshore and backcountry videos. All right, you guys. So a beautiful snook right there. A really nice one for the Florida Keys. And uh, Ricky put us on him. He said, let's try one more spot, and it paid off. Let's go ahead and let him go here. Oh, there he goes. Good job. All right. On the board, baby. Big snook. All righty, so our main target was redfish. Ricky crushed him yesterday. We didn't see a redfish today, but that's fishing. Yesterday's old news, but we did get a nice triple tail, a bunch of sea trout, a goliath grouper, a couple of nurse sharks, jacks, catfish, and a really nice snook that we just let go. So great day in the backcountry. We're going to run back down right now. And we'll see you back there. We're gonna do some triple tail and some sea trout. Now triple tail, they're a tough fish to flay. They're really scaly, big scales on them, and their spines are really sharp on their dorsal there. So you gotta be careful. You don't want one of those spines going in your hand. A lot of people wear gloves when they flay them. It's a good idea. I'm not gonna wear one though. It's a bad idea. But we got a nice sharp knife. Gonna come in right behind his head, just like we do most fish. Down there towards his anal vent. Look at the scales though, lots of big scales. I'm gonna just follow along his backbone, just like that. A lot of times I'll shake the scales up that first time or two. And come out to the bottom there. And that's his rib cage there, so we're just kind of cutting around that, trying to avoid cutting into the rib bones. That really dulls the knife. Look at that, the big old scales. Then we're just going to knock the skin up just like any fish, pull the back of it like that, and work our way up this way. Triple tail is one of my favorite fish to eat. They're really good. A lot of people love eating them. Okay, so we got the skin off there. Throw that in the water. This will flip over. This is a rib cage. We're gonna get rest, rid of the rib cage there. Just like that. And now we're gonna flip the filet over. That's that little meat that goes down his back. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna go right in the center here to get rid of that center bone and the bloodline. Just like that there. 
No bones there now. That's a perfect fillet of triple tail. Well, pretty perfect. You know, I'm not perfect, but a good fillet of triple tail. That's gonna be dinner. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let's do a sea trout next. I haven't eaten a sea trout since I was probably 15 years old. So probably 20 years ago is the last sea trout I ate. Most of the guides here, they let the, a lot of the fish in the backcountry go, but they will keep some snappers. They'll keep triple tail. They'll keep some sea trout. So you can catch a few fish for dinner back there, but it's not like you're gonna fill your freezer back there, but usually you can catch a fish or two for dinner. What do you think, should we fillet them or do haul? Fillets. All right, we're doing fillets. My one buddy said he loves them whole on the grill, but we're gonna do fillets. A trout is soft, so they're easy to cut through. But just like that, roll the knife, just follow right down his backbone. Old speckled sea trout, AKA spotted sea trout. Skin on or off? Off. Skin off. Sometimes people will cook fish with a skin on it, but we're used to eating it with the skin off. That's just how we grew up eating it. Just like that. Take out his rib cage, and we're good to go. And there's actually a couple little worms in there, if you can see that. So sea trout do get a few worms in them. Yeah, you can see a couple in there. We're gonna cut those out. Probably just a little extra protein. I don't think it would kill us, but it is kind of gross to eat them. We're gonna feed it to Pete over there, Pete the egret. Same thing here, knock out the center bone. And we're good to go. So, we got fresh sea trout right here. We got fresh triple tail right there. All in all, a good day. We'll see you back at home. We're gonna cook some of this stuff for dinner. All right, we got our triple tail and our trout right here. The girls ate some last night. We gave some away as well. But we're gonna do some fried fish. So slightly fried, we're gonna make an egg wash with some milk and an egg, mix that together. Then we're gonna dip it in these Italian breadcrumbs right there. And once that's ready, we're gonna put it in the pan with a little bit of butter and olive oil and fry it up. Pull this fish up here, guys. We're gonna put it on paper towel to dry out and drain. Some of these fish were a little thicker, so we're giving those an extra minute or two. We got fresh triple tail and trout on top of a spinach salad. Got some tomatoes, some Italian dressing, and uh, I can't wait to try it. Sadie's already over here. She's already eating some of her fish. What you think, Sadie? You like it? Oh, she likes the fish. I got that. that. Oh, you want the ketchup to dip it in? Let's see if she dips it in the ketchup. Dip it in the ketchup, and you eat the fish. There you go. Sadie approves, now it's our turn to try it out. Hard to beat fried fish. That's my dad's trick there, fried fish and ketchup. All uh, right, we're gonna try the trout first. That's a piece of trout there. It is super white. It looks good. And trout's known to be a little bit softer, so. Let's give it a shot. The trout is really good. It is good. It is soft, you know, it's a, a softer fish for sure. All right, let's try the triple tail next, you guys. Triple tail is one of my favorite fish to catch and I love eating them, but look at that. Look how white that is. So white and flaky there. And we bled that fish out too, so it just looks great. Nice and crispy. Italian dressing, spinach. Hey Sadie, I'm trying to film, knock it off. I'm just kidding, you can make some noise. She was out of fish and she was- Oh, she's out of fish, she wanted more food. All right, so this is the triple tail here, look how white it is. Let's try that out. This is usually one of my favorite fish to eat. That is really good. The trout is good, the triple tail is excellent. I love triple tail. Mm. Look at that, look how white that is. That's delicious. That's as good as it gets and fresh. We caught it yesterday, Sarah caught that sight casting. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Stay safe, stay healthy. Um, hopefully this mess is over with soon. I guess reality is kind of setting in now. I don't know when we're going back to work with charters, but we're here, we're getting to spend some time with the family, so that's always important. And we'll keep moving forward one day at a time. So have a good night, we'll see y'all next time.